Hi guys, welcome to Monocure 3D Pro Tips. In today's episode, we're gonna check out this new product from Anycubic. It's a cura and washer all in one. Let's check it out. And opens up. A user's manual, power cables and power adapter. A few tools and some a support card. That's the lid of the unit, which is UV safe for the curing. That's the lid for the washing unit, which I'll get out now. That's the washing unit there. It comes with some attachments for the fill plate. Of course, that will work with the Anycubic Photon printers. It comes with this turntable, that's for the curing part of it. A, what looks like a deep fryer basket, but actually is for the washing unit. So you can get your prints in and out easily. And you can see the bottom of this washing unit, the magnetic stirrer, that's essentially how it cleans. So rather than using ultrasonic or you know any other type of cleaning method, it actually spins that stirrer and that's what causes the resin away, in our case, of course, to spin and clean the, the model. The base of the unit's in here. Now, starting to take shape now. It's got the, the wash and the cure option, start, stop, and the time. Let's um, plug it in. Plug the power into here. This goes into here. And of course, depending on where you live will depend on what plug you end up with. We're in Australia, so we have this funny shape. Next thing we need to do is fill this up with some resin waste. I'm gonna fill it up. So what we're gonna do now is take the resin away in the container, we just pop it on there. Now there's a sign here, there it says, do not spill washing liquid on the platform. I think that's very good advice. As you can see here, there is a hole. And I'd say that putting anything in there is not gonna be very good for the unit. So be very careful of that. The fryer basket sits neatly in here, just under, and that's good because it just comes off the bottom of the stirrer. Then of course, we need to put the lid on. Now, just with the lid, you can see this white panel here on the lid. That there ensures that when the unit is on, it activates a sensor at the back of the unit and that allows you to use the unit. So it's safety first saying, if the lid's not on, then you can't wash or cure. Okay, so now we're gonna start. We need to switch it on. All right, so turn it on, lights up. You can see it's set to cure, we need to change that to wash. Make sure that you have it on the right one depending on what you have in there because it will work on both wash for curing and curing for washing, if that makes sense. Then you just select what time you want. So say you want six minutes and then you just simply hit start. Now you'll see what happens next is the stirrer will begin to spin and it actually gets up quite a vortex in the resin away and you can see how that would actually do a really good job of removing the resin from the print. So what happens after it does three minutes this way, it actually stops and reverses and goes the other way. It just ensures that it's mixing it both ways and if there's some resin stuck in a crevice which is facing one way, then spinning it the other way would help remove that resin. Before I stop it, I just wanna show you something. So spinning like this, if I was to take this off, there's a safety feature and that's what I was talking about, that sensor will actually stop it. But what I quite like, they've done this, is if you put it back on, it starts up again. To be honest, it's not that dangerous having it spin uh, with resin away in there, but I guess if you had it really full, it could spill out and that could be a potential problem. All right, so I'm just gonna stop this now by pressing the stop button. I'm gonna take the, the lid off. I'm gonna lift this out and remove this. It comes down to the, the curing. You can see these lights here are the LED lights which do the actual curing. And there's none on the bottom and there's none on the top. But from my basic tests that I've done so far, it's actually still cures quite well. And you can always put the model on its side. Now, this is a clear Perspex disc. It has got the paper on it, so you can just remove that. I'll just leave it on for now. The screw holes sort of show you where it lines up on here. So you can see you've got these little um, knobs here and then the indents there. So they need to line up and the screw holes kind of show you what direction. So it's not that difficult to get in. So that's in there now. Of course, if I tried to cure now, it wouldn't work because the lid's not on. So let's pop the lid on. 
to hide that sensor. Make sure that we change from wash to cure. We can select the time and let's hit start. So straight away the lights come on and the motor starts turning at a much slower speed than the washing and it's spinning around and curing the part which is invisible at the moment. So guys, that's the Anycubic washer curer. We'll wait for the mask to finish printing, then we'll wash the print and then we'll cure it and I'll show you the whole process in the next video.